So did you get educated today on 3802? No, I didn't look at that. Called your supervisor? Uh, yeah, just to see, just to be on the safe. Yeah. I'm sorry? What, is, there a, is that a law? Private property. Oh, I'm not on private property. Yes, sir, you are. No, sir, I'm on an easement. This is an easement. This is called a city easement. Information to make sure if this anything happens, I can say, has spoken. They're not going to get my information today, officer. No, sit tight on that one, okay? Sit, sit tight, tight on that one? I'm going to speak to my lieutenant. Why does it say that visitors are welcome? It says visitor information. Welcome back to our channel. Today we will witness fascinating conversations between citizens and law enforcement officers. These are not just ordinary discussions. They are valuable lessons about freedom and mutual respect in society. In today's context, understanding and protecting these rights has never been more important. Let's explore the principles that apply in these situations and the challenges both sides face. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss our exciting upcoming videos. Let's dive into these intriguing and educational stories together. In our first scenario, let's explore the tense confrontation between an auditor and police officers defending citizens' fundamental rights under the Constitution. 95? Yeah, 95. Failure to identify yourself? I'm sorry? You don't want to catch a charge, do you? What charge is that? Failure to identify. Do you know what 3802 is? Yes, sir. Auditor Todd is conducting a First Amendment audit at the ICE Detention Center and the police department in Pearsall, Texas. As he films the surroundings, the police approach him and request his ID. According to the First Amendment, filming in public is completely legal. If the police or anyone else intentionally obstructs this activity, they are violating Todd's civil rights. Such actions are unacceptable in a society that respects freedom. I'm getting ready to have contact with PD. Going towards you. Hello, sir, Officer Gonzalez. How you doing? Got some calls that some people were concerned. About? You just standing out here, they didn't know. No, I'm just walking up and down. I'm an investigative journalist out here on assignment. Okay. I'm an investigative journalist out here on assignment. Okay. Do you yeah. have your ID on you by any chance? No. No. What's your name? What's for? Hmm? Report you're not wanting to identify yourself. Is there a reason? I know, but I mean, we're the only ones that are gonna know. How you doing, sir? How you Nobody you else is gonna know your name. How you doing? Officer Warren. Todd. Do you, some, uh, do you live here in Pearsall or? Uh, I'm not gonna answer those type of questions. If, if you live here? Okay, do you have any weapons on you or anything like that? No, I'm not armed. To request ID or verify identity, police need reasonable suspicion. However, in this case, the female officer seems to have overstepped her bounds by insisting the auditor provide identification without any justifiable reason. Under Texas Penal Code 3802, citizens have the right to refuse to provide information when there is no reasonable suspicion. Therefore, this action by the police not only violates civil rights, but also demonstrates a lack of respect for the law. Out there, like in the middle. But I've had nurses down here that like, drive down here for nursing jobs. Well, I know nurses do. Uh, my job brings me down in the valley too, you know, yeah. so. But yeah, I'm just out here. I'm a journalist, uh, okay. investigative journalist out here on assignment. Okay. Like I told her. I got the Sony one with the one that had a projector on it. It's kind of nice. Hey, my, my hey, friend has one of those. Yeah. This yeah, I have what is one that, of those. like a GoPro? Yeah, yeah. GoPro. I have the Yeah, this one's one. got that. That's Yeah, yours probably has. If yours yeah. has a projector, then you got the stabilization. Yeah, stabilization, yeah. It's yeah. a nice camera. I love it, man. Best Buy, they were like $900, yeah, man. Yeah, I got mine open box. I always shop open box, get a look, try to negotiate a deal. Man, you guys... Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I get I get put on assignment to do these kinds of things. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah. when I'm doing this type of thing, uh -huh. and, um, man, I got to say, you guys have been... Cool. We call it a pass. Yeah. So... Uh, I appreciate you guys, man. All right, is it cool if we just get your name and your date of birth so we know who we're dealing with? I'll give with? you my first name. It's Todd. You don't want to identify yourself at all? No, ma'am. 95? Yeah. 95? Yeah, Failure to identify yourself? What charge is that? Failure to identify. Do you know what 3802 is? Yes, sir. What is 3802? Your rights. Failure to identify yourself? I'm sorry? You don't want to catch a charge, do you? What charge is that? Failure to identify. Do you know what 3802 is? I'm sorry? Good. Why don't you tell me what it is? No, why don't you tell me what it is? Because yeah, I know. I have right here. So, this guy's going to look up 3002, guys. You guys are being live stream, by the way. That's fine. There's probably about uh, 120 people watching us right now. I mean, just to know who we're dealing with. No one else is going to know <clears throat> if you want to. I'm not going to identify myself before you decide to take any action against me. Because what, uh, where do you I work for a national organization. Told you what I'm doing. I'm not armed. I know, Other but than that, we're dealing with. Okay. We have to identify everybody uh, we come in contact okay. with. 
Let me show you where all right. Well, uh, I guess you can see what's going on right now. No. All right. Probably look up 3802. And you know what? You, this is a, this is a, this code 3802. And you guys ask for ID from just about everybody you come in contact with. So this is one code that you guys should be very familiar with. You're not, you're not being victim. You're not being. Uh, we're not saying you did any type of crime, so we really have no reason right. to... Articulable suspicion. I, I know what you're talking about. And I assume we just got a complaint. They just want to check you out, doing whatever you're doing. Okay. Well, I'm glad we established that. Yeah. I appreciate the way you approach me. She's going to be educated right now. Fortunately, there is still a police officer present in this situation who understands the law. Unlike the rude female officer, this officer genuinely comprehends legal principles. He calmly listens and respects the auditor's right to film in public. His actions reflect a proper understanding of the law and serve as a model for all law enforcement officers to emulate. You have to choose where you want to work? No. You, you have to apply? You, you have to apply. So you get, you get commissioned and you can apply anywhere. Okay. CD, so I came back down here. You're working up north as law enforcement? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, corrections. Oh, okay. Yeah, corrections. Corrections officer. So then I wanted to go to the street, so I got picked up here. So. Actually, I'm pretty thirsty, man. I can uh, get your water. But it's, it's pretty dang warm today. Yeah. This weather's been crazy. It started cool this morning. Right okay. Are you guys detaining me right now? No. Okay. I'll, I'm not going to go anywhere though. Okay. Have you ever had to use your weapon yet? No. <laughs> That's good, man. No. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Taser. Good, man. Yeah. I, I could tell you're going to be a good officer, Thanks, man. man. I appreciate it. Hi, sir. Just real quick. What did you say you're working for National Watch? For I'm an investigative journalist and I'm out here on a, on okay. assignment. All right, sir. Well, I'll go ahead and let you be. No, I didn't look at that. Mm -hmm. Called your supervisor? Uh, yeah, just to see, just to be on the safe side, you know. Mm -hmm. But all right, people well, y'all be safe. Those are those are nice. How come you don't have body cam? I have it right here. Okay. Yeah, like I told you, some people were concerned. They didn't know if. Uh, all right. Y'all have a good day. Y'all be safe. Over something. I appreciate it, bud. Right, Water's fine, man. Okay. See what I, got. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm live streaming on two phones right now because I don't know which one's working. The one officer said he's going to bring me out of water. I think she got educated today. Hey, babe. He just passed me. What? Yeah, I'm good. He's going to go get me a water. Hey, really? Is it hot out there? Hell yeah, my mouth is dry. This situation emphasizes the necessity of overseeing the right to film in public. This means that police must understand and respect this right. At the same time, citizens need to be equipped with knowledge to protect their rights, thereby fostering a cooperative and respectful environment between them and law enforcement agencies. Misunderstanding property rights, a Murphy Oil employee shows a lack of respect for civil rights. This is a private facility, you can't deal Yeah, we don't want to come on. Yeah, we're not, I, mean, I don't want to come on, man. Yeah. You can't come in there, but you can't film our facility without our permission. On October 19th, 2021, a group of auditors conducted filming in a public area near Murphy Oil in Freeport, Florida. However, a Murphy Oil employee approached them and claimed they were not allowed to film without the facility's permission. According to the First Amendment, citizens have the right to freely film in public, so the employee's actions directly infringed upon this right of the auditing group. They're walking up to whatever house that is or whatever.
Thank you. This is a private facility. You can't feel it. Yeah, we don't want to come on. Yeah, we're not. I, mean, I don't want to come on. Oh, we got uh, permission. From who? James Madison. Who's James Madison? Bill Wright's Constitution. Freedom of the Press. Yeah. Ring any bells? Private facility without permission from the facility. What's the reason? What law is that? I'm sorry? What is there? Is that a law? Yes, sir, you are. No, sir, I'm on an easement. This is an easement. This is called a city easement because there's not a sidewalk. Because we're, we're press. We're just gathering content on we're a story. Independent journalists just gathering content for a story. Well, like industrial. And, and, whatever information you need about our Yeah, no, we're just, we rolling through the area looking at industrial sites. So we don't need any help, though. You guys are fine. You guys can go ahead and get back to work or do whatever. In public areas, especially on roads near oil facilities, the right to film is entirely legal. It's unfortunate that an employee has unreasonable security and privacy concerns in this situation. This obstructive behavior not only hampers individual freedom, but also creates unnecessary tension, contradicting the transparency that society needs. Obstructing our truck drivers, that's the problem is what they're saying. Are they driving on the, they drive on the, the grass here? Driving no, on the grass? No, they don't, they don't Oh, well, that's too bad. Tell them, yeah, that, that's terrible. You know, Tell them if they're driving on the road. You have no everything is privacy in public. Yeah, they're getting filmed all day driving on the road, so they're out of gas. There's cameras at every gas station, every building, every... Uh, I'm with myself. I'm with me. I drove by myself. Can we get your names? I'm majorly awesome. I'm funky. The major's honorary. I'm a good citizen. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. I am. The major is honorary. It was in the French Revolution. French Foreign Legion. French Foreign Legion is going to promote him to uh, general now. Y'all have a blessed day. I see people, you know, I watch a bunch of internet videos of people, you know, doing what's right and whatnot, whatever. Like peculiar here or something? I'm just curious. Oh, not at all. Me because I don't see stuff like this tomorrow. Yeah. We work here all the time and we just see right. you know, normal truck drivers in and out. People may be walking and whatnot, but we've right. never seen something like it. The people that are not used to it. Yeah. You know, they're not used to people expressing their First Amendment rights. Oh, I understand. Right. I, I... Although the police did not take any obstructive actions, they should have stepped in to explain to the employee the importance of respecting citizens' basic rights in the context of civil rights tensions. Why did they choose to remain silent and only appear as a security measure for the facility. This indifference not only obscures their role, but also raises doubts about their commitment to protecting citizens' rights. Have you seen STV? That guy looks that guy looks like him, STV. Oh. Yeah. Who you guys Who you got? Where you from? I'm from my mama. Blah blah blah. Right? calling to see what we're doing is legal, if he can do anything, or calling for backup. Because he, he, he's not, you know, familiar with the law. I mean, we're on public property. There's nothing that anybody can do. So he tells them, yeah, leave them alone, let them do what they want to do. As long as they're on public property, not violent. I was just wondering if you folks got a call. Okay, if so, I was just going to grab the incident number, that's all. Thanks, guys. Yep. They didn't get a call, they were just patrolling the area. Yep, no, no. I guess we could sit here and chill and... From this situation, we see that the right to film in public is an essential part of free speech, and citizens need to be aware of this to protect their rights. It also emphasizes the responsibility of law enforcement agencies to uphold the rights of the people. Every citizen has the right to free speech and press in public areas. However, not everyone understands and respects this, as exemplified by the police officer's abuse of power in this case. Join the auditor as they visit public facilities in Germantown, Tennessee, to discover what transpired. Am I being detained? 
right now I want to find out why you're looking at these cars in case you might be breaking into cars later. Am I being detained, sir? Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. Am I being detained? Is there any reason why you're doing that? Can you give me a good answer? A citizen is exercising their freedom of speech by filming in a parking lot near the Germantown police station in Tennessee. However, the officer presenting this situation disagrees and questions the citizen about the reason for filming, while also requesting to verify the auditor's identity. According to the First Amendment, citizens have the right to film and take photographs in public places. The parking lot where the auditor is standing is a public area. Therefore, if the police intentionally obstruct his filming, they are violating this right under the Constitution. Moreover, requesting information without reasonable cause also infringes upon rights protected by the Fourth Amendment in this case. I'm curious as to why you're walking under patrol vehicles and holding your phone as if you're recording what you mean to what is oh, your name? That's, that's exactly what I'm doing, officer. I'm recording okay. the police vehicles. Okay. Okay. All right, well, what's your name? That way, oh, in case these cars come I, I don't give out any private information. Okay, well, I'm going to need your information. I'm going to need your information. Okay. Right, do you suspect me of committing a crime, sir? Well, sir, you're walking around looking in these cars, and I'm trying to make sure none of that's very yeah, shotgun. Right. So go ahead with it. That's not a crime, sir. Okay, go ahead with your information. I, 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 just I make only sure. provide my information. You need reasonable, well, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime, sir. Suspicion is not a crime. Uh, give me a second. Will you stay over here by my uh, video camera, please? Stay over where? Right here in front of my video camera. Am I being detained? In case you might be breaking into cars later. Am I being detained, sir? Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. Am fact. I being detained? Is there any reason why you're doing that? Can you give me a good answer why you're looking at that? Am I right being now? detained, sir? That's yeah, all good. Well, That's all well, good. But hopping out, and then I saw you kind of looking at patrol cars recording. So I'm trying to make sure again because we have had people do that. You've so had they, people break into yeah, police absolutely. police cars. Oh, yes, sir. We've had that. So that's why on a police right parking right. lot. No, right? It's wild. I doubt that's ever happened. Okay. Well, hey. I can look into it. Say, okay. Good for you. Well, again, I mean, like I say, has spoken. They're not going to get my information today, officer. Well, sit tight on that one, okay? Sit, sit tight, tight on that one. I'm speaking to my lieutenant. We'll yeah. Out of the way. I'm going to stand where I'd like, please. Thanks. I'd appreciate it. Stay where you're at. It seemed that the situation would escalate and civil rights would be stripped away. But no, the appearance of the police chief brings a hopeful turn. The police chief quickly acknowledges the citizen's right to free speech under the First Amendment and educates the other officer about understanding and respecting the law. The chief's actions not only protect free speech, but also demonstrate a strong commitment to raising legal awareness within the police force. Uh, He's allowed to videotape the parking lot. Per, per, per who? I just want to know who you spoke with, sir. Our captain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you mind if I get your name and badge number? My name is Officer Foley. And, and the captain you spoke with? Uh, he just said, I, I don't know which captain was. We just got a, uh, I called call my lieutenant. He said cars or whatever. All right. I just wanted to make sure that just in case, because he doesn't seem too happy that I'm recording. Yeah. That you came over here, Officer Poli. Yes, and you saved you save the day because I, <laughs> I didn't know what this guy was going to do, to be honest. <laughs> He's a good guy. You're good. I hope so. Yeah, I'm a good guy, too. I promise. All I'm right. not here with any nefarious purpose. All right. Well, thank you, sir. You're Better not pull that uh, that notepad out anymore because so you're not getting my name. No, that's fine. I appreciate it. Like I said, he wasn't giving me much, you know, to work with. But I appreciate it. Thanks for the heads up. Right. Well, cool, man. I know that's what we're for you. So hopefully, you know, nothing else comes up back here. All right? So take care of yourself. Be careful. Yeah. So you got Officer Poli over here and the captain, thankfully. Because this definite, definite tyrant vibes. There's nothing wrong with taking some, nothing wrong with it. I told him that's what I was doing. And if he wouldn't have been such a jerk to me, you guys have seen in some videos, I give out my first name, my purpose, independent journalist, but he was being such a jerk, trying to demand things from me. Now I'm gonna invoke, I don't have to tell you anything. You wanna be difficult, I'm gonna be difficult with you. Force me to talk to you. That's why I always say, de-escalation is key. It is key.
In summary, this video highlights the vital importance of protecting citizens' rights to free speech and constitutional rights in a democratic society. It emphasizes that understanding and respecting the law is not only the responsibility of citizens, but also the duty of law enforcement agencies. The police chief is educated by a citizen for failing to adhere to the law under the Constitution. Yeah, I don't really know what the law that just got passed is. I just know that if we could have, if we could stop having our people that we employ going around trying to tell us when we can carry guns and when we can. The incident begins in the area surrounding the Dubois County Correctional Center, where an auditor is being followed by Police Chief Klein Helter simply for filming in a public place. Notably, the auditor suspects that the officer is under the influence of alcohol. This situation raises serious questions about the professionalism of law enforcement and deeply disappoints regarding how citizens' rights to free speech and filming are threatened. What's your name? I heard you were drinking. What's your name? Klein Elter. Klein, Klein Elter? You are the sheriff? I am the sheriff. Okay. Yeah. And you said your last name was? I've said it three times now. So you think I was drinking no, and driving? No, no, no. I just, I said, don't, if you're drinking, don't be driving. That's what I was told. I was saying for you, man. For what reason? Oh, you seem to be all concerned about public safety and drinking. So have you been drinking today? Okay, where were you at before this? My office. Your office? Yeah. Hey, were you then here? I had a commissioner's Were you here all day? No. And where was that at? That was at the annex building. Okay. Close to City Hall where you were at. Okay. Just cat corners there. So I had a meeting there at 830. Then I went to that meeting and then I came back. Okay, did you go anywhere in between that? Did you stop anywhere in between? Fill up with gas. Okay. Yeah. So you haven't been to the bar at all today? Not today, no. Okay. Yeah, I got a gun. You got a gun? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any, like, other things, like paraphernalia? Any illegal firearms? Bar no. Okay. Do you mind if I check that? No. You okay, cannot awesome. check it. So, what? You cannot check that. You just It's anything? issued to me. Okay, so I got, do you mind I got... if I patch you down for drugs or any uh, paraphernalia? Anything I, like that? I, I'd rather not. You'd rather not? Are you hiding something? Do you have something you'd like uh, to hide? I don't know. Okay. Are you? Uh, man, I'm Can the I one asking. Can I Okay, great. Okay. Great. All right. Well, Any other questions? Uh, you're dismissed. I am. Yep. Uh, to go back to doing your job. Well, thanks, Craig. Yeah. I I say the same to you. I'm doing my job, buddy. Uh, you, I don't work for you, pal. I, you live in Newport County? Uh, I'm part of the public. Hey, be careful, okay? Hey, you as well, man. I wouldn't want you to get hurt out here. And see, now he's stalking me. Dude, I dismissed you. You're free to go. You're just going to visit them? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, I'll let you do that then. Okay. I say you go ahead and visit them real quick. Okay, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. You like our construction? Uh, no, it looks like it's being very sluggish. Your pupils are a little bit dilated there. Really? Do you mind submitting to a field sobriety test for me? Sure. Yes, okay. I, I don't. I mind. Oh. You said, do you mind? And well, I said, sure. I just didn't know if you got how that worked. Okay. Do you mind if I check that? No. You okay, cannot awesome. check it. So, what? You cannot check that. Early. Oh, well, I might have changed my mind. I want to submit to a field sobriety test right now where you just... I, I, man, I, it just takes one second or two. It's just to ensure that the public... Nothing bad about it. Nothing... Yeah, I know. think the public decided that. The public decided that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are where you... you parked at? Sorry? Where are you parked at? Oh, don't worry about that, man. Oh. Down yeah. by cramps, right? No. Am I right? I, don't I guess not right. I really don't know. Oh, okay. Damn, I was lucky. Like, yeah. You I mean, okay? Am I okay? Yeah. Do Do I look okay? It's I think a matter I of interpretation, I guess. Man, let me see. Get my Get my hair out for everybody to see real quick. Well, Craig. It's a bad day for the auditor as he faces not only the unprofessional behavior of the police chief, but also delays in receiving public information requests from the staff at the correctional center. It seems that just because he is filming, he is not being treated as he normally would be. The First Amendment ensures that citizens can record what occurs in public spaces without interference. Therefore, the staff's refusal and delays not only reflect inefficiencies, but also disregard citizens' rights, raising serious questions about the responsibility and ethics of law enforcement officials. Why does it say that visitors are welcome? It says visitor information. Um, okay. It's a lockdown facility, so we only let people in and out if they have appointments. Yeah, I need to come in here to do some business. Sure, what do you need? Sorry? What do you need? I can't. If you just crack the door, I'm not going to break in just so that I can hear you better. Sorry. What are you needing in here? 
Do I need to tell you? Well, yes, because we're here in lockdown. Who are you? Are you in charge or something? Okay. What's that mean? Uh, would you like to learn more about community corrections, what we do here? I'd like to come in here. You guys are hiding uh, sensitive information that you don't want the public to know about. What do you mean? We have private information and people information we need to have, so. Okay, well this is a public lobby. I don't see any information out here. This back here is public. That's why there are seats for waiting. That's for people who are about to get tagged. Um, no, it says visitor. I don't know why you're covering. Guys, I fast forwarded this. I was waiting here for a ridiculously long time. About 20 minutes in total. Most of the dialogue was them, of course, coming up with ridiculous reasons why they just couldn't imagine doing that and uh, enact it. But this is just to show you again that this took way too long for them to provide me the service. Okay, I actually need to uh, file a public records request for this building. So how do I get in to do that? Are we stumped? Okay, well, I assume you guys have forms for that for a public records request. For the sheriff's department dealings. Not here. No, you have them at there here for this facility. So I need to get in to do that business. Okay. It's here and then after that I'll be right on my way. Is this how you guys normally serve the public? You just do it when you're ready? Why would I not be allowed in, man? You are right now. We're waiting on that piece of paper, right. okay? 10 minutes because I've got a camera in my hand. Jennifer, yeah. come with me. And please don't press the camera up against the window. Please. You guys have been so disrespectful, I don't care to hear it, brother. You go about doing your business. Well, stay away from the windows. Don't, don't tell me what to do, man. Like, thinking that he's smart or something. Can't see anything in there anyways. Oh yeah, you can actually. Hey, hey buddy. Got that piece of paper for him? I don't work here. I think probably, um, did you go on our county website? You guys are paid to provide services to the well, public. Well, and it's, it's on the website. Right, I'm here there. right now. And that's man. what I, we're trying to get it. Here, imagine how long it's taking. Oh, man. I know, man. I don't work here. I know. I get it, I get it. Why is somebody's cell phone right out here, man? Doesn't that seem a little bit ridiculous that they got a cell phone just sitting out charging right in the public lobby? Somebody here in the public, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Probably I'll let them know, though, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. You should definitely let somebody. I don't work here. I don't either, man. This just seems like a definite, definite Did you get discrimination. These? That's kind of cool. I'll get it. It takes a while, I think. Man, sometimes it takes a while. It takes like 10 minutes sometimes. Was it 10 minutes? No. Oh, it was longer than 10 minutes, man. I've been rolling for 40. It's more like 20 minutes. Really? What is that, 30 seconds? And I'm so that's definite discrimination. Discrimination because of... Did he give me a... Uh, you Have you ever had a civil rights lawsuit while you've been in office? Are you yeah. here to... I'm here to conduct my business, brother. Okay. What are you here for? I know you public employees don't do too much work while you're on the clock. So I, no, I know, I see it, brother, with my own two eyes. You're out here loafing around mm -hmm. to be violated, right? If they need to have their property stolen or if they need to get thrown in a cage, right? No, I totally disagree with you on that. Okay. Yeah, um, I wholeheartedly disagree with you on that one. Okay, man. Do that, don't you? I do. Mm -hmm. That's the greatest part about living in America. Yeah, did you know in the same, it actually protects the freedom to film as well? Mm -hmm. Did you just look that up or that would take the qualified immunity away from you and anybody who was in your vicinity while you could have informed them about that? What? No, I did not understand you. Okay, did you know that 20 minutes ago or did you just learn that? Learn what? In public, that we've got a freedom of the press and it shall not be abridged by any law. 
You do? You didn't know that? What? <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. And so your qualified immunity is gone. It's fine. For what? For vi- for discriminating based on qualified. immunity. Based on you filming? Based on you knowing I have restricting my access to said public area because I'm filming. Your access at all. Uh, I think uh, I think you had a part of all the blame on these people that you told not to let me in the building. I didn't That's tell anybody. You didn't tell anybody? No. I hope she does because if not, it's all going to be in her lap and like I wouldn't want to see that happen. But uh, that's the, the way it's... You got that form for me yet? Or? Oh, Dana's working on it. Jeez, oh. Man, you guys take your... Can you write down exactly what it is you need or what you're requesting? I'll have an official like form for it, but if you write down, then we can uh, send it up to our county entity. County entity. All right, Dana, and so, just for the purposes of my investigation, I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Form you to not allow me into the building for any reason at all. Uh, no, he did not. Okay, I just begin that. The police chief, who should symbolize law and protection for citizens, shocks everyone by displaying indifference and irresponsibility in this case. In an unexpected moment, he is not only criticized by the auditor, but also receives a serious lesson on adhering to the law and the Constitution. This action exposes his shortcomings and responsibility and raises concerns about the credibility of law enforcement in the eyes of the public. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't you have a job to do, brother? Aren't you like the highest paid law enforcement in this county? A wall? Like, your constituents aren't going to be too happy about this, brother. You're so cocky, I just don't get it, man. Yeah, if you could just read that constitution, man, that'd be great. So if you just read that constitution, adhere to it, man, that'd be great. Like, I don't know if you've ever taken somebody to jail or maybe possessing a handgun illegally, but if you've read the Second Amendment, you'd see that, I mean, just it means that anything else would be unconstitutional. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's, so, like, it wasn't, it's not. That's not the wording of that law that just got passed. This situation clearly illustrates the irresponsibility of those representing the law, showing that not everyone adheres to the principle of protecting citizens' rights. It emphasizes the necessity of monitoring and demanding accountability from law enforcement agencies to ensure that citizens' rights are always respected and protected. Thank you for watching today's video. The dialogues between citizens and law enforcement not only provide moments of tension, but also raise important questions about freedom and respect in society. We have explored core principles and challenges that both sides face together. What are your thoughts on this situation? Please share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this content interesting, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest videos. See you again in the next exciting stories.